Hey up everybody, I'm going to move on to my uh, water tender now for a while and uh, do a little bit to that. So uh, in my previous set of videos you'll have seen where I made the chassis and all the relevant parts for the rolling chassis and I'm going to move on to the tank now. For anybody that's not quite sure that it, what it looks like I'm not going to be going at 100 mile an hour at this, it's just um, you know doing little bits at a time I suppose, so you'll have to be patient on that. So uh, what I'm going to do then to start with, I've got, I've got this sheet of brass here that were left over from my local tanks and I'm going to, I'm going to use this. It's um, 16 gauge, no it's not, yeah it is, 16 gauge and I can get all the parts mainly all the parts I need to do it out of this sheet so that's what I'm going to be doing today cutting this sheet up we'll have a look at that sheet in a minute and also in another future video I don't know when this will be but a friend of mine up at Trike he acquired this gas burner specifically made for a sweet pea and he's never tried it he just bought it and uh, he's been like lying around his workshop ready for when he's able to find time to to do it so he's let me have it really to draw it up and to fathom out how it works really because there's a few little bits and pieces missing off it and there were no instructions with it it's never been used so I'll be looking at that in another video to try running it on gas perhaps I'm not saying I'll be running it on gas permanently, so all you purists out there, you know, it's just just a bit of an experiment, really. I'll, I'll still revert back to coal eventually when I've tried it, but uh, I thought it'd be interesting to try it and see how, see how it works and see how it performs. So that's for a future video. So I'll move over to workbench and uh, I'm going to make a start cutting this brass out. Just before I start cutting this brass up, I've had this sticker come from Mick's workshop. Now Mick's over in the USA, I've had this letter from him as well. And uh, he does like-minded, interesting stuff that we're all doing as workshops. Uh, I think he's been probably on YouTube maybe one or two year, so he's quite new. So if you'd like to go over and take a look at Mick and give him a bit of support, I'd appreciate that. I've not actually got a metal cutting band saw so I can't use that. I'm going to cut this with my jigsaw with a metal cutting blade in. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to I'm going to clamp it onto my bench. Okay then briefly, what, what am I doing here, uh, you may well ask. Right, because my milling machine won't, I haven't got the travel on my table to cut, to square these edges up. So what I'm doing, I'm just, uh, I've put a fence on my table 
set that true but well, that doesn't matter really because I'm only I'm only skimming the top uh, so just so I've got uh, something to butt up to to keep everything solid I've clamped I'm going to clamp me pieces of brass between two stout square parallel pieces of wood I'm going to put some clamps on there and then I can mill across the top and then the, the portion that doesn't get milled I can leave my miller at its settings just unclamp the wood that's clamping the brass together slide it along reclamp it back on and then continue my cut and then everything's going to be more or less within a few thousandths square to each other ready for when I make the tank up.